How to fix the dark screen error for Lost Planet 2 in RPCS3. First, let me explain what this particular issue is. When launching the game Lost Planet 2 through the RPCS3 emulator, most of the game looks completely normal. The loading screen looks normal, the main menu looks normal, and even the cutscenes. But when you load into the game, everything is extremely dark and maxing out the brightness doesn't fix it. But don't worry, we can fix it. For the fix, we will be heading to the RPCS3 wiki. Once here, click on the search icon and type Lost Planet 2. I will have the link in the description to skip to this exact page. This wiki will show you the best settings that fix known issues with emulated games. Enabling the right color buffers fixes the mixing graphics while in game, or the dark screen issue. With each game having different settings to fix different issues, it is best to create a custom configuration or settings per game. To do so, open up RPCS3, find Lost Planet 2 and right click. You can either create custom configuration from global settings or create custom configuration from default settings. Global settings are settings that affect all games and are customized when you click on the main config. Either one works, but if you're having issues, you can try the default option and then add on any additional settings to troubleshoot. For this example, we'll be using the default settings. Once you select either option, go ahead and navigate to GPU and turn on right color buffers which will be found on the bottom right under additional settings and that setting by itself will fix the dark screen error but since you're here go ahead and navigate to advanced and turn on read color buffers on the right side under gpu this will fix some water sky artifacts issues and will be very helpful later on once done hit apply and then hit save custom configuration. If you forgot a setting or need to add a setting later, don't worry. All you have to do is right click the game and click change custom configuration. Once done, apply and save. By default, double clicking the game will now boot with the custom configuration we set. All right, let's go ahead and boot up the game and test it. And now Lost Planet 2 is playable again. Alright everyone, I hope that helped. If you could spare a moment of your time and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this awesome game.